please tell about the new South North Korean missile test. Is it aimed at Japan or the US? Is North Korea planning a new nuclear test? Right. I think two or three days ago, the North Koreans uh, tested a ballistic missile, an intercontinental ballistic missile, an ICBM. So what's the definition of an ICBM? I think it's a missile, it's a, it's a ballistic missile that has a range of more than, I don't know, 6,000 kilometers, 7,000 kilometers. I'm not sure what exactly it is. It's a missile that's able to, you, that you can fire from, from one continent and you can hit a different continent with it. It's a missile with an extended range. Minimum, I would say 5,000 kilometers. Most likely, I would say that an ICBM, from my perspective, should have a range of at least 8,000 kilometers. That's what I would, that's what, that's how I would classify a missile as an ICBM. Anyhow, the uh, North Koreans recently tested, like two or three days ago, a new missile. They have been testing lots of missiles, short range missiles, but this latest uh, test was that of an ICBM. So it was an ICBM with a looping trajectory. It rose about 6,000 kilometers plus above the surface of the earth. And it splashed down in the sea. Let's take a look at the map, as always. Where's the map? Let's put the map on the screen. So let's go to Korea. You have South Korea, you have North Korea. Yeah, as you can see. West, oh, sorry, east of North Korea, you have the Sea of Japan. And then you have Japan itself. So uh, the missile, I think, uh, it splashed down in the ocean approximately uh, one second approximately a thousand kilometers away from where it was launched so it splashed down its its impact in the ocean was a th approximately a thousand kilometers from the point of of uh, from where it was launched and it rose about six thousand plus kilometers above the surface of the earth so if you do the simple you know calculations, mathematical calculations, mm -hmm. it, it, is, it is basically uh, apparent that the range of the missile is in excess of 10,000 kilometers. So this ballistic missile seems to be an ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile, one that is capable of targeting the United States. So let's see what is the distance from, let's say, the Korean Peninsula to, let's say, California. It's about 9,600 kilometers. And, and so this missile definitely has a range of more than 10,000 kilometers. Some publications are saying that it has a range of about 15,000 kilometers. In that case, it would be the Hwasong-17 missile, which is an enormous missile. It's a two-stage missile, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, with liquid fuel. So liquid fuel, fuel missiles need to be prepared because liquid fuel is, is hard. It has to be kept at a very low temperature and so on. So it's a liquid fuel missile with two stages. It's an enormous missile, maybe the largest missile in the world, with a range of about 15,000 kilometers, in case it is the Hwasong-7 that was tested. So these ICBM tests are only aimed at the US. Because if you want to target Japan, you can use an intermediate range or, or short range ballistic missile or a cruise missile. I'm not sure the Korean, North Koreans have cruise missiles, but they do, do have ballistic missiles of short and medium ranges. So you don't need to test a 15,000 kilometer range missile if you want to target Japan. So it's clear that the target is the US and it's a message that they're sending to the US that we, that your entire nation is within range of our ballistic missile. So this new missile test, in case it was that 15,000 range, 15,000 kilometer range missile, it was aimed at the United States. Uh, obviously, these, these missiles can also be used to target China. So that's always something that we have to keep in mind that Look, North Korea is a Chinese client state. Let's understand that. It is a, a nation, it's a regime, it's a dictatorial regime that is propped up by the Chinese. If you study the history of the of the Korean War and all that, the, whatever ensued after that, it was essentially a conflict between the Western bloc, the US-led bloc, and the USSR-led bloc. At that time, China was very close to the USSR. So the Russians, the Soviets assisted China in this conflict in Korea. And... Uh, so that's that's how this uh, peninsula, the Korean Peninsula, was was partitioned between North Korea and South Korea. That's what the that's what the English speaking empire does everywhere it goes. Northern Ireland, Southern Ireland, India, Pakistan, uh, the the fragmentation of the Indian subcontinent, the partition of the Korea the Korean uh, nation, and so on. Uh, 
and south korea is a is a us client state it's a us vassal state it's under permanent us occupation so north korea is a chinese vassal is a chinese client state and this uh, missile test this icbm test was aimed at the us it was aimed at sending a message to the us and it's essentially a chinese sock puppet that the chinese are telling the us that we have multiple ways of targeting you now is the uh, is north korea planning a new nuclear test so if i recall correctly the north koreans have done i think six nuclear tests thus far in the past i don't know a decade or so right and uh, it is i heard that they may be getting ready for a new seventh nuclear test it's possible so we don't quite know if it, if it happens i'm sure they will it will be announced with great fanfare on north korean media and we will come to know about it and obviously if you have uh, tracking stations you can you can detect the seismic signature of a nuclear test and you can actually even calculate the yield of the nuclear device and so on so uh, once it happens we will know it i believe they could possibly be getting ready for a new nuclear test obviously if you're testing ballistic missiles you should also uh, show that you are capable of of you have nuclear weapons that you can use as warheads for those, those missiles so it's possible that a new nuclear test may be in the offing maybe sometime soon let's see let's wait and watch and we will know